Hello there. Last month, the Bank of England put up interest rates to 5%, and that's the highest we've seen since the financial crisis. And that has several implications, both for the economy and for investments. On the face of it, of course, it makes savings rates look more attractive. Although you should be careful because, of course, um, even if you can get 5% on your savings, and a lot of savings rates are well below that, don't forget the impact of tax. And also, we should point out that at 5%, um, that Bank of England base rate is still well below inflation, which is over 8%. Um, we always say that if you want to beat inflation over the long term, if you want your money to grow in real terms, then what you need to do really is invest. And if we look um, over even the more recent times where we've had very, very difficult markets, we've had two bear markets in the last three and a bit years. But if we look over a five year period, our balance portfolio, for example, has still beaten cash over that time frame even though over that time frame it's been below inflation. But if we look over longer periods, for example, 10 years or more, then we see returns have generally been well, well ahead of inflation. So we do think it's really important that even though interest rates are higher, we still remember that investing is generally um, the only way to beat inflation over the long term. Now, hopefully inflation is going to come down and that will uh, allow the Bank, Bank, Bank of England to stop putting rates up quite so uh, sharply. But those higher interest rates actually has, have some positive implications for lots of other asset classes too. Now generally, uh, well, if, you, uh, if you look in the past when, uh, and you look at the stock market, when we start a period when we've got a fairly high interest rate as we have now, we tend to get, actually get better equity returns over the following years than when you start with a very low interest rate. Perhaps that's because higher rates imply that the economy is doing well. Or perhaps it's because if you start with a high rate, well, then it's more likely to perhaps be cut over the long term. But where you can see this relationship most clearly is in the bond market. And basically, when you buy a bond, what you're doing is you're lending somebody money. When interest rates are high, it's great to be a saver, but it's even better to be a lender. So, for example, if you buy a corporate bond and you're essentially lending money to a company, if you lend money to a nice, safe, secure company at the moment, then we're getting yields of about 6.5% a year. So that's higher than interest rates, for example. And so hopefully, as long as the, the, the companies we lend to uh, don't go bust, and we've got no reason to, to think that they have with the current environment, um, then we should see returns well ahead of, um, of cash rates and with even the opportunity of some capital growth on top. And if we want to take a bit more risk and lend money to a slightly less secure company, then in some cases we can get yields of around 10% per annum or more. So higher interest rates are actually usually a positive for, for bonds and if rates happen to be cut then as well as picking up that yield then hopefully we should be able to get some capital growth on top. So we think actually you know at the moment some of those asset classes look really compelling value um, and it's it, at the moment we've been topping up in lots of the different portfolios. But we know that actually lots of um, clients maybe struggle with bonds and how they work and um, they're not that familiar with them. So what we're going to be doing is trying to put a series of communications out there looking at returns versus inflation, looking at bonds and how they work and all sorts of things just to try and give that little bit of extra detail, some extra information to help you make those decisions about what to do with your finances. But for our point of view, we still think it's very, very important if you want to beat inflation over the long term, we think investment is the only way to do so. And actually, there are some asset classes out there right now that are producing, in our view, some really compelling potential returns. So thanks very much. Hope you found that useful. See you next month. Cheers.